In this national newspaper, printed every Saturday in Melbourne, parents and oldies have no say at all. This newspaper has yet to become the Bible of Australia's youth, but it already sells 40,000 copies around Australia every week. It's called Go Set, and it aims to cater solely for the tastes of the active teen and twenty set. In its first edition last February, it told its readers, now is the time to really break loose from the oldies. Now seven months old, Go Set deals almost exclusively with music and fashions. Its columnists write about jazz, folk singing, rhythm and blues, the current pop idols and their TV shows. Its editor, Tony Schäubler, is 21. Before he started the paper, he was studying zoology at Monash University, where he worked for three years on the university newspaper. Gosset's appearance came at a time when most established newspapers were moving into the teenage market too. Seven weeks after it hit the streets, GoSet moved into bigger offices here at St Kilda. Every member of its staff is under 25. It now has 15 people working full-time and another 10 working part-time. As well as giving disc jockeys yet another outlet as columnists, GoSet has provided opportunities for its own staff. Honey Lee, its fashion writer, is 18. Colin Beard is Go Set's photographer, a job that has its hazards. Well, there's always the dangers of um, the screaming of the kids when they get sort of hysterical. Uh, it's at Norman Mo concerts, Rolling Stones, being trapped between the star and the uh, kids as a stampede on the stage. Uh, several times I've been caught in such situations and damaged quite a lot of equipment. I've always come out of it all right myself, apart from a few bruises, but I've um, smashed a couple of flash units and um, I'm getting quite used to it though, of course, now. I'm so ex knowing when to expect it and uh, run for the nearest sort of safe place. Now, honey, how much power do you think you wield in the fashion scene among teenagers? Well, at the moment, not very much, but I hope to have as much power that the kids are going to follow me, every word I say. And sort of like, if honey says that dress is good, then it's good and they're all going to run out and buy it. And that the fashion house is going to have faith in me and sort of going to give me anything I want and be really cooperative. I mean, already I've sort of had tons of letters from kids sort of saying how much they like the dresses and everything I show and where they can get them. Earlier, GoSet's editor, Tony Scheibler, tried to interest teenagers in writing about the problems facing the world today. The response was dismal. It seems that stories about pop stars and their music were what his readers really wanted. Yes, we, we were rather disappointed, but I think the fault was mainly ours that we started off too early when Teenagers hadn't identified themselves as much as they have now with the paper. They weren't quite sure who was running it, but uh, now that it's established that it's uh, written by people like them, they're far more willing to talk. You claim that you can communicate with teenagers in a way that no other Australians can. Now, what do you see as teenagers' morals today? I think teenagers in general don't quite know um, what, what their morals are. They're at the stage where they're thoroughly disillusioned with uh, society as a whole, the, social, um, the values of, uh, or the moral values of society, because they get held up to them in school and in church, uh, Christian morality, and if they see that the, the rest of the world, the older people, just aren't taking it seriously. Uh, the press and television, everything is uh, doing the exact opposite. How much of this bright young world do you think these teenagers will carry with them into their adult life? I think the main thing that they'll carry on is the fact that young ideas and the young outlook is something that can be taken seriously, that what the ideas that young people have that they can put into practice, practice in the world at large. Um, and this sort of thing in the past, I think, where young people haven't been given the go, they, they can get now.